Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and this is Anonymous from Faced with the reality of their own stupidity, the narcissist blames you. And here's her story. Hey, Ollie, how's it hanging? Hopefully good. There have been there has been much going on in my camp. The shelter who provides the housing for us selling is selling the building where we we stay because we were in the middle of St. Louis and unfortunately there are shootings almost every day in the area we live in so they don't want to carry the liability anymore. <clears throat> the good news is that my relatives are helping me with some expenses for me and the kids and we're going to be okay. After two years of being homeless, me and the kids get to go home. This will happen in January. In the meantime, I had a story that I thought would be good to share on the channel, so here it is. I had a best friend in middle school, which, looking back, was amazing that I had a friend because I dealt with a lot while I was in middle school with my dad hitting on me and the other kids that went to school that I went to school with did understand, nor did not understand, nor did they empathize at all. I would have to dress out for gym class and didn't get a bra to wear to school that was fun to hear about in the hall. There were other things, too, that make me very awkward and just ill-prepared for socializing with other people back then. Despite all that, I managed to make a good friend. Me and this girl had so much fun doing things after school together. I went to her house to swim in her pool a ton of times. We got in trouble together. Life was good. So New Year's Eve 2000 came. Uh, Y2K. So New Year's Eve 2000 came, and we were supposed to go to this church event. And of course, I didn't want to go, but I had to. So my friend was down with me, which was awesome. So the plan was to chill at my house until it was time to go to the church thing and then go and she would spend the night at my house. <clears throat> she never really came over to my house much during our friendship. Mainly I would go to her place. So we had fun over at my house and then for some unexplained reason, my dad decided that I couldn't hang out with my friend anymore that night. She had to go home, and we had to go to church as a family alone. This was a holiday that we were going to focus on God instead of socializing. So I was, I was so upset. I was like 12 or 13. I cried and begged, and they said, absolutely not. Yeah, because they realized you were having fun. Because you never actually hung out there. And this is what used to drive my parents crazy, that I used to hang out at my friend Matt's house. They didn't know what was going on. They knew I was having fun. And once they see it, they hate it. The narcissist can't stand to see you enjoy yourself. And they will destroy it right there and then. Something I realized later on in life is that for people who do not live with my dad, it can be a shock to the system when he decides something because the rest of us in the house just instinctively, just instinctively don't resist. No, don't resist. To think an outside person's perspective, to think of an outside person's perspective after <clears throat> they are exposed to this, I could see how it would scare someone just the way that he has been has to be domineering and controlling about things. My mom took my friend home and I had to stay behind at the house. I couldn't even go with her to take her home. Another thing that my dad had decided. My mom took her back to her house in a very revealing tank top that had a Bud Light logo on it and explained to her mother that we had that we were a very conservative family and that her husband had decided this was a family night. <clears throat> Fuck you and your family nights. My, my father used to pull that family night shit. Or we're going to have a family night. Why? We hate each other. What were you talking about a family night? What are you talking about? Like, I couldn't even take it seriously when the words came out. No, you just want to destroy my night. 
When the narcissist claims family night, they just want to destroy your night. That's all that's about. Been through that a million times with that scumbag. Family night. What a crock of shit. While your mother's there in a fucking fucking Bud Light tank top, right? Right? And that's what... Oh, we're... we're I remember my mother. We're a Christian family. Since when, bitch? Since when? Is your pussy being blessed by God as you're fucking handing it out all over town? As you're getting a fucking train run on you on the fucking Little League field? Is that all fucking blessed by Christianity? Fuck on out of here. <clears throat> so glad she's dead. <sighs> glad I took a couple days off. My friend's mom decided after that night that me and her daughter could not hang out anymore after that because of the way my mom was dressed <clears throat> and the way my parents were acting. I lost a friend that I really benefited from having. I don't blame my friend's mom, though, because it was just odd how the whole thing went down. And my friend explained to me that it was because my parent, because of my parents that we could no longer hang out. Very crushing to me. Yeah, but you know what? That's on. That's on your friend's parents, too. See, when my... And, and I've talked about this in the video. The narcissist doesn't fool everyone. Okay, when my friend's parents actually stood up to my parents and said, you're not doing this to your son. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. You're not going to pick a fight with your son because we were supposed to go down the shore with the Memorial Day to their shore house, and though we had our own, to hang... And they tried to take that all away from me. And her and, and, and his parents weren't having it. And they were humiliated. My parents were humiliated. How, how dare... What are you saying to them? I'm telling them... that I would tell them. i tell them the truth. Tell them you're fucking horrible people. But I don't have to tell them you're horrible people. You, then you prove it yourself by your own behavior. And that's what they don't understand. That's what the narcissist doesn't understand. When they truly act terrible... That people see right through them and see them for who and what they are. When they do shitty things like that. When they claim bullshit like family night. It's obvious there is no family night. It's just to ruin your night. <clears throat> this incident seems kind of small potatoes. It's not small potatoes. It really isn't. To do that to a kid, 12, 13... It's, 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 it's like a life changing. It is a watershed moment of your life. It's one of those things. You're already broken. Let me smash you some more. I've already broken you into 10 pieces. Let's see if I can break you into 50 pieces now. It's not small potatoes. It's mean. It's calculated. It's purposeful. And it's meant to hurt you. It's meant to gaslight you, make you believe shit that isn't true. Family night. Fuck yourself with your family night. This incident seems kind of small to potatoes compared to other incidents in my life or even other incidents that people write in about. But the thought hit me to share this because I feel it's a great example of how things have always went in my house. Same in my house. My dad decides something is against God or something is to so, or something is too liberal and he completely loses control and goes off on a tangent. Before when I didn't realize this was a manipulation, it was very damaging to me as a young girl. I loved anime, so he explained to me that Japanese people eat dogs, which is ungodly, and they are not Christian and we should not support Japan in our home. I don't buy the don't support Japan in, in your home thing, but I'll tell you this, anime is a gateway to kitty porn. It just is. It just is. It just is. I'm sorry. You'll never, I'm not saying it should be outlawed. I, I'm just saying it's weird. It's weird. And it absolutely is some kind of odd gateway to pedophilia, tentacle porn, like all that weird shit. When you catch these weird creeps online, they're all into that anime. They're all into it. Tentacle porn and Japanese girls and schoolgirl, like, schoolgirl out. Like, what is going on with that? 
I understand there's other forms of anime. It's not because you shouldn't support Japan in your home. I, I could kind of see not getting the anime thing. Shit like that. Shit like that. Nothing I ever liked or did was ever considered good or e even okay. I guess that's the black sheep life, huh? Today he tells me that he does not agree with my lifestyle, which is laughable because today my lifestyle involves my kids' work and school. I don't see how that could be controversial to anyone. If I were to question why my de why he dislikes my lifestyle, it would probably be because I'm a single mom and it takes two to raise children or that I used or that I used to do drugs or some other ridiculous crap that I can't change, so we'll harp on it forever. Don't matter. I'm going to just pull out whatever mistake you ever made in life and make it like you're the only one who ever made that mistake or ever did those things. <clears throat> whatever. Today, is, today life is so much better. Thanks a lot for your channel. I didn't even know what this stuff was till I came across a video of yours. Thanks so much for taking time to read my story and have a good one. Just remember, when the narcissist is claiming family at family time, they're just trying to destroy your time. That's all. That's all. And if you're having any contact with this guy whatsoever at this point, stop. Stop, because all he was going to want to see you do is hurt and not succeeding, and so so he so he can trash you for it. Congratulations on 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 getting your life back online, uh, getting out of getting getting a getting a place again with your kids. That's what's got to be the most important thing. Okay. And if you want to keep that, if you want to be able to keep that stability, keep this motherfucker out of your life. Because all he's going to try to do is destroy it. Because that's all he knows how to do in regards to you. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your contribution and story, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, sponsor a video like this with someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.